In this video, I will be showing you a simple high win rate divergence trading strategy. For the sake of this strategy, we'll be combining it with a couple of indicators such as the Relative Strength Index, which is the RXI, the 200 EMA, and also Support and Resistance. Okay, so permit me to say something before I proceed in this video. I will advise you get your writing materials ready to take note of the key point, the important point I'll be dishing out in this video because you won't want to miss those important um, warning signals. And also, permit me to bring those new to the world divergence in technical analysis up to speed real quick. So divergence is a popular concept in technical analysis that signals when a price is moving in the opposite direction of a technical indicator. Before I proceed, my name is Isaac. In case you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe before leaving. And um, we have two types of divergence. We have the hidden divergence and also we have the regular divergence. So before I proceed with the types of divergence, the reason why you're seeing a line chart right here because it makes it easy for you to spot potential divergence signals. You can return it to um, a can-do chart after you've done your, um, you've spot your potential divergence entry. Because the reason why I say you can return it to your candle is for you to spot potential support and resistance area. Even with the line chart, you can see spot potential support and resistance area still. But to make it more easy, easier, you have to switch back to the candle um, stick pattern. So let me explain the hidden divergence real quick. The hidden divergence is a divergence that signals a possible continuation of an existing market direction or trend. Why the regular divergence is a divergence that signal a possible trend reversal. You have to take note of the key point here, the difference between the both the divergence. The regular divergence signals a possible trend reversal, while the hidden divergence signals a possible continuation of an existing trend. So in the regular divergence, we have the regular bullish divergence, the one you... Okay, let me... Yeah. We have the regular bullish divergence, the one you're seeing here, and also we have the regular bearish divergence, the one you're seeing here. So the regular bullish divergence, the price keeps forming in the regular. We're talking about the bullish now. The regular bullish divergence, we have um, the price keep forming a lower lows, while the oscillator keep forming a. Um, a, a, a higher lows you understand as you can see on your screen here the oscillator keep forming a higher lows you understand why in the regular bearish divergence regular bearish divergence as you can see over here the regular bearish divergence the price keeps forming a higher highs that's why it's going higher like this as you can see why the oscillator keep forming a lower highs why in the hidden divergence we have the hidden bullish divergence as you can see over here on your screen in the hidden bullish divergence the price keeps forming a higher low why the oscillator in the hidden bullish divergence keep forming a lower lows that's why you see it's slanty and that's why it keeps going up you can just plot the um, trend line on it the moment you've spot a potential divergence and also the hidden bearish divergence in the hidden bearish divergence the price keeps forming a lower highs as you can see the price keeps forming a lower highs this um, line we drew right here is coming down and why the oscillator keeps forming a higher highs so the moment you've spot this signal this way what you have to do is to wait for a confirmation. Let's just say you want to enter a long position in this regular um, bullish divergence. Like, let me say something now. Always wait for the RSI to move into the overbought or oversold region on the first price swing. What I'm trying to say is, if you're looking for to take a sell position or wanting to go short, you need to wait for the RSI to become overbought. And if you're waiting, if you're looking to take a long position to buy, you have to wait for the RSI to become oversold, vice versa, you understand? Divergence is not 100% of the time accurate. 
but by combining divergence with um, other form of indicators such as pattern or 200 EMA trend line support and resistance like other form of oscillators you'll be able to increase your win rate significantly so what I'm trying to say now in essence is the moment the RSI if you if you if you if you want to take a buy position the moment the RSI is signaling an oversold region you get ready to spot your divergences out so let me just return this stuff to candlestick now okay as you can see this is the perfect divergence we spotted the regular bullish divergence as you can see so for you to take a long position you have to wait for um the divergence to be in the oversold region as you can see and you have to wait for the rxi um to form a higher lows this is a clear higher lows and then the next signal you have to wait for is wait for this um rsi line to cross over this um sma smooth moving average you understand the sma is the yellow line while the rsi line is the um purple line inside here as you can see so you have to wait for this rsi line to cross above the yellow line to confirm your entry signal as you can see if you had wait for this signal this is the candle you'll be entering and then you can also um support it with um support and resistance area let me just show you guys something real quick okay So the reason why I say you sh you can also use support and resistance area um, to spot potential, as you can see, for for a buy signal you have to wait for the price to go above a, a, a formal resistance area, and um, as you can see on your screen, you will notice this red line is a very 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 high liquidity area, which is a very high resistance, and also it has also acted as a support area. Sorry about that. It has also acted as a support area for this price. So the moment is breaking above that red line, that resistance area, feel free to go long. And as you can see, the price went super high the moment we went long. So for you to go short. Let me just show you real quick for you to go short okay let's just change this from a line to a candlestick pattern real quick so if you want to go short a bearish um a regular bearish divergence that is if you want to go short you have to wait for the rsi to be in the overbought region as you can see this is the overbought region for the oscillator overbought region and after confirming that you have to wait for this rsi line to cross below um downward this yellow line inside this rxn region after crossing the, that is one of the signal you have to wait for then secondly you have to spot your what was it called you have to spot your potential support area so that the moment the price is going below that support area is when you'll be entering the trade and as you can see over here let's just draw the support area out real quick sorry about that as you can see over here this red line is our support area and the moment this stop broke below the red line is the time we are supposed to go long on go short on this trade that's a clear perfect signal as you can see this is a clear perfect signal and if you notice this area is where the rsi crossed significantly what's happening okay all right so that's it you have to wait for this potential support area you've spotted to break down below before going short and also the um, hidden bullish divergence vice versa this is the hidden bullish divergence so you have to wait for the rsi line to also cross above the um you know, um s m a yellow line before going long and as you can see if you waited for the signal congratulation you won the trade and also you have to spot the resistance area the moment is breaking resistance is when you should go long so it's as simple as abc my name is isaac once again in case you haven't subscribed to my channel subscribe before leaving as always peace out and then invest the amount you can afford to lose manage your rigs stay safe peace